guys, welcome to the shop. I want to go over a little bit about uh, taking apart the, uh, the engine to change the camshaft tensioners. I'm just going to quickly go over the engine, taking out the spark plug, rocket covers are already off. I'm going to come over here, get a close up, show the top of the engine. Rocket covers are off, rockers are off, everything's out already, breathers, spark plugs are out. Took off the gas tank. So to actually do this job, you'd have to take off, well, I don't take off the exhaust. I take off the covers or the chrome, chrome uh, heat shields, and I loosen it up from the manifold. Gives me enough room to actually take out the bolts and remove the outer cover. And once that's out, I go ahead and I took off the rockers, took out the push rods, and then we take off the the cams with the cam plate. This is still the pump. This will be coming out next. I'm just going to take a quick look and check it, check it, make sure everything's okay in there. I'm going to be replacing all these seals. Uh, I am not replacing bearings, and it, none of the bearings are getting replaced. Everything's staying the same. Cams are staying the same. The only thing I'm replacing is the chain tensioners. I'm doing it the old-fashioned way to save some money. That's pretty much it. It's a lot more work, but it gives me the chance to uh, change all the seals, gaskets. Uh, especially the air breathers up top, they'll get a little bit of a blow by, so I'm gonna go change all that at the same time. I bought the kit, so we'll get that done. And the money I'm saving, I'm gonna spend it on the bike roads. We got one coming down to uh, Virginia, and uh, we're going down to uh, Washington, D.C. for the uh, Thunder uh, bike run. Rolling Thunder. Chain tensioner is on, that's the secondary. The primary and stuff will go on as I put it back together on the bike. As I took the parts off, you can see I marked everything. This is the rear cylinder, front cylinder. Bolts are in the same order they came off of. Rockers, everything's in the same order. When I took out the uh, the rod, the push rods, marked them all. Top side, or left. Top side, right. So I marked everything. Make sure you mark everything so it goes back in the same way you took it out. The um, you know, I kept the uh, chain, everything in place the way it came off. That way it all goes back on the same way. I am using a lot of JP Cycles parts. JP Cycles is where I get all my stuff. Genuine gaskets, I love these things. Comes in a kit, it's like 33 bucks. You can't go wrong with it. It's a whole, everything you need is right here. So this whole job is gonna cost me about $140 altogether with parts. The labor, obviously I'm doing it myself. There is one thing I want to say before we continue on with this. If you're not sure what you're doing, you're not mechanically inclined, you might want to consider paying somebody to do this job because you can really screw up the motorcycle engine uh, if you don't do it correctly, put something in backwards or, uh, you know, something just ain't right. So if you're not sure or have no idea, do not attempt to do stuff like this on your own. Actually taking out the tappets and the... I've taken out the uh, lifters. Uh, simple fact is, I actually tried it with one of those paper clips and it didn't work too well. It kept falling out. So I just took them all. I get the gaskets anyway. There's nothing about four screws. We took them out and it's easier to tie the way. I don't have to mess with it and it'll make it easier for me to clean up the uh, inside of this. The only thing left is uh, just the oil pump. I'm going to slide her out and put her up on the bench. We'll be, I'll be inspecting all the parts, cleaning all this up, all the gasket material, the old gasket material will be taken off, clean it all up, and then once I'm ready to assemble it, I'll come back to the video and we'll uh, just show you a little bits and pieces of putting it back together. Remember, I'm not replacing anything except the camshaft tensioners. Not replacing the bearings, camshafts, I'm not going crazy with any of that stuff. Just doing attentions so I can get another season out of this bike. Or maybe two or three, whatever. I'm not looking to spend a fortune on a, on the bike. Just looking to ride it, that's all. Alright guys, I checked my oil pump. Everything looks good. There's no like major scratches on anything. The uh, clearance on the gears, they have to be less than, I don't know if you can see that, 0 0.004. And they're really tight. Can't even get that gauge in there. So the oil pump looks really good. Uh, like I said, there's nothing, no scratches on it, nothing. I'm going to put it back together and uh, we'll get it back on the bike. Don't forget, I'll be replacing this seal 
and the o-ring seal here this one's pretty uh hardened up from all the heat and stuff so i'll be replacing everything which comes in that in that kit if in case you're wondering what the kit is genuine gaskets and that's the kit number cam gear change gasket 1040947 and again i get this stuff at jp cycles they've been really good to me service has been great there all right guys she's all apart i gotta clean up gaskets are all out I'm gonna put the oil pump back in. Before I do that, I'm just gonna put some oil in there. Spray all the bearings. I love this stuff, it's like a gel. It's freaking awesome. It'll actually stay right where I put it. All right, now we're gonna put the pump gaskets in, or O-rings, I should say. do is you want to coat these it'll help to uh, just keep them in place they actually fit pretty good so just coat them with a little bit of oil to keep them in place it's for the scavenger side of the uh, oil pump make sure she's in there nice and seated I don't know if you can see this I'll move the camera a little bit maybe get a better picture of it can you see that in there nice and seated and these two o-rings are in there nice and seated now we're going to put the oil pump in I'll put the gears in one at a time the exhaust pipe is a little bit away but you, just, you can work it in there simply just want to make sure that you don't ruin that o-ring going in there we go you gotta be careful you want to make sure that o-ring is in right you don't want to ruin it. Now we're going to get the gears in. I like to uh, just douse everything up with some oil. Slide that bit over in there. Now there's a couple of notches on these. you got to line them up. It's not as easy as you think. Never have too much lube. Said you never have too much lube, so don't be afraid to lube it all up. That's it. I just gotta replace that ring. I haven't changed out this O ring yet, it's the old one. You can feel these when you take them out. They actually feel like they're, they're brittle and hard. Just over time, the heat gets to them and uh, makes them like that. These are the new ones. Oil her up. And she goes right inside the groove. That's it. Oil pumps in. Just gonna loop some of this up. Alright, so we're going to put the camp light in. This is going to be somewhat tricky. I already have the uh, outside tensioner on with the uh, Allen wrench holding it in place. Cams are lined up. Now we're just going to slide this bad boy onto the crankshaft with the bushing there and into hopefully the bearings.
All right, get her in. It's hot to line up those uh, cans in the back. Once you get her in, you're gonna just slide her in. Now, believe it or not, the manual does say to hit this with a rubber mallet to seat it. So, I'm gonna tap it just to seat it. That's it. When you put the bolts in, you're gonna have to put some blue Loctite on there, and you're gonna have to put them in, right? The issue here is you really gotta look up the manual on how to talk these down. There is a sequence to this whole setup here. You can't just start tightening these down. You have to do them according to the manuals. Be sure to check your manual. I know in other videos I said don't worry about it, just snug them down. On this case here, that is not the case. You really need to look it up and find out where your specs are and how to talk this plate down. You don't want to walk this thing or cause any damage to it. I mean, this is only aluminum. All right, guys, I'm going to button this bad boy up, talk it down, and uh, go from there. i got to look it up myself. There you have it. It's all talked down. These actually call for 13 newton meters. It's about 120 inch pounds, I believe. Uh, the oil pump screws talk glass. You need a tool to line the oil pump, which you would put in number one and two, the alignment tool. Then you would talk down three and four to uh, four or five inch pounds. I mean, new meters, I'm sorry. And then once that's talked on, you would take out the alignment tool, talk these down to four or five newton meters, and then you talk the whole thing down in sequence to uh, 13 newton meters. And that's it. Cam plates in, cams are in, oil pumps in, new uh, tensioners are on, and uh, this baby is almost ready to ride again. All right, guys, I'm going to do a part two. And then we'll go into doing the lifters, putting them back together, and uh, the uh, push rods and the uh, covers. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it. Any comments, put them on the uh, below, and uh, I'll get to you as soon as I can. Oh, another thing that's good for working on bikes is uh, one of these uh, lights. Energizer. Uh, they go on your forehead. These things are awesome. I bought this thing for like 15 bucks. I got to tell you, it's the best thing I've ever, ever owned. Alright, that's it for today. Take care.